Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Kiana Lachey and this is my channel, okay? If you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I have some new subscribers, so I just wanna thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> but anyway, so today's video is gonna be on the three reasons why you should start prayer journaling. Like, first off, prayer journaling is amazing, especially for beginners. Like, if you're a beginner in Christ, like I was, and you don't know how to pray, because I did not know how to pray, I didn't know what to say. Like, what do I say? I don't, I didn't know what to say. So I would just write all my prayers down. And now I have notebooks on top of notebooks, on top of notebooks on you know, my prayers, and everybody needs to do it, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, so the num so it's not any particular order, but a reason why you should start prayer journaling is because it draws you closer to God. Like, writing is very intimate. So when you prayer journal, you write down your deepest thoughts to God. Like, you write down everything you're thinking. Like, just write it all down. It's like a love letter to God. It's like you're writing a love letter to him. And it's just so amazing. You just really go deep in it. And it's just so amazing. Like, you just draw so close to him. And the Bible says, when you draw close to God, he draws close to you. So, while you're writing, God is looking down. And he's just enjoying everything that you're writing he's literally watching you write and that's just how i feel every time when i would write to him so i'm gonna look at all this i have my notes okay so so it would it also helps if you set out you know a time where you are gonna pray your journal that really helps you know, mostly in the morning, before everything, you put God first. And you just start writing out your deepest thoughts and all, everything. Everything you could think of, just write it down to him. Pray about it. He gonna do it. Trust me. Okay? And, like I said, like, sometimes it's easier to, to write it down rather than to speak. Because that was my problem when I first... Um, started this walk with Christ I didn't know what to say like, I just didn't know what to say I just didn't know what to say so I wasn't comfortable with praying because you know you hear everybody prayers and stuff You're like wow like how do they know to say that stuff like how do they know scripture how do they know to pray scripture I'm just I was just like I'm gonna just write <laughs> I'm gonna just write to God and that's just uh, and then it's just more like intimate because like you can do it anywhere. Like you don't have to speak it out. You can do it anywhere. You can journal in the car. You can journal at the park. You can journal in the bed. You can journal on the floor. You can journal anywhere you want to go. Anywhere you want, you can journal. Okay, and then okay. So the second reason is that you can go back and you can see your journey with God. You can go back and you can see the prayers that he's answered. Like, you could go back. Often, I, I love going back and reading my old prayers. Like, I just love it. I just, I'd really be like, wow, God, like, <laughs> I wrote that? I don't remember writing that. <laughs> but I wrote that, wow. And it's like, it's just amazing. I love going back and reading my old prayer journals. Like, I just, I just love doing it. Like, I, cause you write down the date, you write down the time, all that. And it's just, it's like, wow, like that was what the month ago, you can literally document your journey with God. Like this is actual documentation. Like, I just love it. It's just so good. Like, yes. Like, yeah, like, when God answers your prayers, you can go back and see, you know, what day you prayed for and what day and what day he answered it. So sometimes, most of the times, I would go back and I would write 
say if I'm just like scrolling through my of my old prayers, I would go back and I would write down um, when he answered them. Say if he answered it the same day, I would go back. I'm like, oh my God, I, I wrote about that. I wrote about that. I, I prayed about that. I wrote it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look. And I'm like, God, you answered that. And I'm like, I'm going to write that. I'm going to write that. Gonna, usually I write down next to it, I say answered. And then I write the day he answered it. And I just like, he be coming through. He be coming through. He really be coming through. Okay, so the third reason is that it builds your faith. So it goes off what I was just saying. When you go back and you look at your old prayers, when you go back and you look at your old prayers and you see that God's answered them, it builds your faith. It's like you know that God is with you. You know that he hears your prayers, even though you're not speaking them out loud. But he still hears it. He still hears your prayers. He still sees that you're trying. And that's all that matters. Like, And then it just builds your confidence. It just builds your faith. So now, you know, when, you know, when you prayer journal, you know, this is what happened to me. So I started prayer journaling. And then, you know, I started being more comfortable praying out loud. So now I pray out loud all the time. Like, I just pray out loud. And it's like I'm more confident in my prayers because I know that God hears me. He's heard me. He's I have documented proof. <laughs> okay. So you can have documented proof that God heard your prayer and he answered it. So I just love it. And it, it builds your faith because without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you want to have faith, Start documenting your your journey. Start documenting um, everything God is doing in your life. Everything, just start documenting it and then going back and looking at it and seeing that God is actually there with you the whole time. Your faith to the roof. <laughs> You're going to have it. Like, that has really increased my faith, so... And it also helps to bring structure to your prayer life. So when you do set a time and then, you know, it, it just it just brings it all together, you know, and then you can reread it, you know, because you sometimes, you know, like when you pray out loud, you can't really, you know, go back and, you know, recall what you pray for. Um, so like most of the time when I've been praying out loud now, I just, I don't even remember what I've been praying for. So it's, it's better if you write it down because then you have proof and you have something to go back to. And yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to get into the tips on how to actually pray a journal. So first you're gonna want a notebook. You can get any type of notebook you want. You can get a cute one. Um, you can get a regular one. Like I'm gonna show y'all my prayer journal. I mean, it's just a regular notebook. It's just a regular notebook. It's literally just a regular notebook. Like I started this one in December. I have other ones too. So. Y'all, I wrote down the day, I wrote down the day, and I just talked to God. I mean, I just I write it down. I just, you just get you can you can jazz it up, you can get you a nice, cute notebook, you can get your cute notebook, cute pens. Uh, I only like to write in with blue pens. I don't know. It's just something about blue pens. I just love blue pens. You can get, it doesn't really matter with any type of pen, but that's what I like. I like blue pens. And, okay, so you get a notebook, you get a pen. You can set down a time in the morning where you want to get up a little bit earlier so you can prayer your journal do that that will it will literally change your life like it will literally change your life if you start to put God first he is going to blow your mind that's my testimony and hey do it it's going to change your life and so yeah 
And once you get your notebook, your pen, and you set a time, you just write down everything that you're thinking of God. You write down your deepest thoughts. You get real intimate with him. Talk to him like you're talking to, you know, somebody that, you know, talk to him like you're talking to your, like you talk to your dad or your mom or your brother or your sister or somebody that you deeply confide into, like your best friend. Just talk to God. He knows everything already. He knows you. So just write down whatever you feel, however you feel. When I tell you, I talk to God like he my best friend, for real. Like I say, like he knows me. So he knows how I talk. He knows how I feel. He knows all that. So I might as well just let him know. I mean, that's what he wants. He wants you to talk to him. He wants a deep relationship with you. That's what he truly wants. He wants a deep intimate relationship with you and this is the way to do it starting off this is very good for beginners like beginners in christ start prayer journaling and watch how god changes your life okay and that's all i got for today I would really appreciate it if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to somebody who might, you know, benefit from this. Somebody who's a beginner in Christ doesn't really know, you know, what to do or how to pray. Tell them. Start prayer journey. All right. I thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Do you guys prayer journal and just comment, comment below if you guys prayer journal. Like, if you prayer journal or are thinking about prayer journaling or, like, how do you guys, you know, go about your prayer life? How do you enhance your prayer life? I would love to know. So, I thank you so much for watching. Bye.